How to make a forge server in Minecraft 1.21. Starting off, we want to come here. This is our in-depth guide for getting forged in single player, but it's related to a server too, because one, you download the server files from the same installer that you get the local files from. Two, everyone who joins the server, you, your friends, and anyone else, needs to have the mods installed locally, and you need to have the mods installed on your server. So every mod needs to be in the local mods folder of everyone who joins the server and on the Minecraft server itself. We're going to talk about that a little bit more later on, but it's worth noting on the front end that you might want to go ahead and send them this guide here. It's the second link in the description down below, by the way, because they can install Forge while you're getting the server set up and all that stuff as well. No less, to start off, we want to come here, which is the second link down below, and this is our in-depth guide on Forge. Go ahead and scroll down and find the download button for Forge here. Click on that and you will be taken to Forge's official download page. You want to make sure on the left hand side you click 1.21 and then 1.21 again. Once you see Minecraft 1.21 here, come under download latest and click on installer. That will then take you off to add focus where stop, don't click anything on this page whatsoever except the red skip button that will appear in the top right after about 10 seconds. So just sit back, wait about 10 seconds and then click the red skip button. When you do, it will go ahead and start downloading Forge. It may ask you like it is me here if you want to save Forge. It's 100% safe to do that as long as Forge is in the title and it's a .jar, which it is. Go ahead and save here. And while that's downloading, I do want to mention this is not a 24-hour server. It's only up and running while your computer is up and running. It's also hosted on your own computer, which means you're going to need a pretty good computer to play mod in Minecraft and run a mod in Minecraft server at the same time. It's very CPU and RAM intensive, and it's hosted on your own internet connection, meaning anyone who gets the IP address to this server can not only DDoS you, which basically means hit your internet offline, and they can also figure out where you live in under your latitude and longitude coordinates, and you're going to need a good internet connection on top of all of that. But don't worry, we have a solution for you if you don't have a good computer, if you don't have to worry about security and DDoSing, if you don't have a good internet connection, or if you want a server that's up all the time. And that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add Forge mods to your server and start playing them with your friends in minutes. That's on top of our one-click mod pack installer, which is super easy to add a mod pack such as Better Minecraft or all the mods or hundreds of other mod packs in just a few clicks. Lastly, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So if you have any issues with your server along the way, there is someone there to help answer questions and fix issues that you may run into when running a modded server, which can happen from time to time, even if things are as simple and easy as possible. Sometimes you'll add a mod to the server and it just won't work. And live chat is there to help you out at Simple Game Hosting. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, we have now got Forge downloaded, as you can see here. Let's go ahead and minimize our browser and create a new folder on our desktop. So right-click, New Folder. We're going to name this Forge Server 1.21, but you can name it anything you want. Now we want to go ahead and find the Forge installer we downloaded. For me, it's here in the Downloads folder, but for you, it could be wherever files normally download to. Once you've got Forge, you want to right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, or you do, like I have Java here, I click OK, it doesn't work. Well, why would that happen? Why would you not have Java or why would you have Java and it not work? Well, it's because you need Java 21 specifically. Previously, you could have another version of Java and it would work with Minecraft, but as far as Minecraft 1.21 goes, you need Java 21. And in the description down below, we have a link to this. And this will also solve you not having Java at all. And this guide goes over everything, downloading, installing, getting Java set up for Java 21. From there, you may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them to Java 21 after you have it. Nevertheless, at this point, we can open up our jar file here, the Forge installer, by right-clicking on it, clicking Open With, clicking Java, and clicking OK. First things first, we need to install Client. That's that local installation that I said everyone needs to do. So click Install Client here, click OK, make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft Launcher are closed, and you've played 1.21 before. If you have, this will be successful like this, and you can click OK. Now we can reopen up Forge, right-click, Open With, Java, and click OK. And now it's time to get the server file. So we're going to go ahead and click Install Server here. This red box appears. Click on the three dots in it. Then click Desktop and navigate to that folder you created, Forge Server 1.21 in our case. Click Open and then click OK. And now it's going to download the server files that you need to run a Forge server in Minecraft 1.21. Once that's finished, it will say successful like this and you can click OK. Now you can open up this folder right like so and we have everything we need. You can delete the Forge installer. Double click the run.bat file and your server's going to try to start, but it's going to fail. And that's because we need to agree to the Minecraft EULA. So go ahead and press any key to continue to close that and we'll see EULA.txt here. 
open this up, and then assuming you agree to the EULA, which we do, change EULA equals false to EULA equals true. You can find a link to the EULA here. Click File, Save after you've changed it to EULA equals true. And now if we double click the run.bat file, your modded Minecraft server is going to start. We can also go ahead and open up Minecraft and join this server. At this point, your friends can't join. There's no mods on the server, nothing like that. All we're doing here is making sure that this server starts and that we can join it. Like I said, your friends can't join right now. We need to port forward for that, but you can. So let's go ahead and test it. Obviously, we will need to play Minecraft with our Forge installation here, so go ahead and click play there and click play again to open up Minecraft with Forge 1.21 with our server open. And now, joining the server is actually pretty easy for you. All we've got to do is once Minecraft's open, navigate to multiplayer, click proceed here, and then we want to add a new server. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Local Connection. And then for the server address, enter localhost, all one word exactly like that, and click done. Now we have this new local connection, and if we double click on it, we'll see us join in over here. There we go, we are now on this server, and you can run around, make sure it's not lagging, all that stuff. If it's lagging with just you, it's probably going to be pretty bad if you add your friends, and sadly you might just not be able to host a server on your computer. But we can see things are pretty lag free, and now we can go ahead and go about getting our friends online. In order to do that, you will need to port forward, and in the description down below, we have an in-depth guide on port forwarding. It covers everything. Sadly, YouTube doesn't like us doing long videos, including port forwarding, so we have to link out to it. I apologize about that. Blame the YouTube algorithm. But for now, you can have this in-depth guide. It goes over everything. It allows us to be even more in-depth with port forwarding on this specific guide. Obviously, a super in-depth text guide as well. So go through this, get port forwarding set up. And once port forwarding set up, your friends will join using your public IP. But what if you want to add mods to the server? Well, in the description, we have two links, one to CurseForge and one to ModRinth. Both of these are great places that are trusted for you to get Minecraft mods. Just make sure any mods you download are for the Forge mod loader and the 1.21 version. In this case, any of these mods would work. On CurseForge, you would do the same thing. On the left-hand sidebar, select Forge, and then 1.21, and any of these mods would work. When you're getting mods, you want to make sure that the mods are installed both on your server and locally in your mods folder and everyone who joins the server. So you would add the mods to your modded mods folder on your server by coming in here and going into mods. So you would add the mods here and then you would also install them locally. Make sure whenever you're done with using your server, you type stop and then you can restart your server by coming in here and double clicking on that run.bat file again. Also, any mods will need to be installed locally. To do that, simply from the Minecraft main menu, go into mods and click open mods folder and add the mods here as well. Restart Minecraft with Forge and you're good to go. So basically, your mods go on the Minecraft main menu, go to mods and open mods folder and you'll add them here. Your friends will also add them there and then you'll add them to the server in the mods folder within the server. We also have an in-depth guide on adding mods. If that was a bit hard to follow, that's linked in the description as well. Nevertheless, there's a few more things I want to mention. How to add more RAM. This guide shows you how to do that. How to allow Java through your Windows Defender Firewall. If after you port forward, your friends can't join, this is probably why. And last but not least, how to fix a broken Minecraft server. 20 minutes of us troubleshooting different Minecraft server issues, including modded server issues. Great to check out now that you're running a server, because you probably will run into some sort of an issue, and having a solution from this video in mind is great to have. Nevertheless, that's how to make a Forge server in Minecraft 1.21. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.